second best, I would say, was Bromwich Strip. That was very nice as well. Um, there's a very nice shaded uh, grassy area next to the river, which was beautiful. Yeah, no, that was nice. Uh, then next down the list, well, following very closely, was uh, the Groot Malkoetboom campsite. That was that was also really nice, like right by the river. We found a nice spot in between the two big bushes, um, which gave us some shade. And yeah, no, it was just the scenery was stunning. And then obviously, and as you can tell, lastly would be Kamkha. The drive down to Kamkha was really nice, very really good. It was a little four, a four by four section. I think it took us about an hour and a half from the start of the tougher section. Uh, so it follows a dry riverbed down to the river. Um, there's just a couple like big rocks that you have to drive over and some slopes to drive down and navigate your way in between in between tight rocks, like rocks close together and stuff. Um, for longer cars it's a bit of a tight fit but you can still make it. Uh, like uh, Cornell in his Land Rover, there are some places where you just where to turn, reverse and then turn again to make it around the corner. Um, but yeah, there, there's, there are people that go down with trailers and they're all happy, so it's not actually a problem. Uh, in terms of sand, there's not, there, there, there obviously there's uh, reasonable sand across the whole trail, um, with a few sections with, with some thicker sand. But as long as you deflate your tires to a reasonable pressure. Um, so I had like, I think 1.2 bars in the front and 1.5 in the back. Uh, just because I'm heavily laden in the back and it literally just floats over the sand so just yeah tire pressures remember and what else yeah I think that was about it I, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little series of videos um, I know I definitely did enjoy it and I enjoyed making it and oh yeah so the Orange River is also pretty good for fishing um, if you know how to catch the fish. <laughs> I'm joking. No, Marco caught a couple nice ones, um, but not as many as he wanted to. He could clearly see the fish in the river because the water is extremely clean, um, but they just would not bite. Probably down to wrong time of year or something like that. But yeah, and yeah, so I just want to say thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that little subscribe button in your bottom right hand side and the little like button just next to that as well. Like, it really does make a difference. Um, yeah, so, yeah, hope you guys stick around for future trips. I don't know what's next, but I'm sure there'll be something. Well, stay well and keep exploring. Cheers.